Let's talk about the optional majestic hoop available for the Husqvarna Viking Designer Brilliance 80. Now, one thing you do notice that it is like it is twice as wide as the biggest hoop that comes with your machine. I love to describe this hoop as like a double wide. Now, it does not embroider all the way across in one part, because as you can see, it does hit up against the inside of the machine. So the machine actually will take a design and uh, allow you to position, say, half the design on one side. And you'll notice the brackets. There's a bracket on this side and a bracket over here. So the machine will even tell you when to have it attached to one side and when to actually rotate it. What I do need to make sure you understand is that you can't just take one big design and lay it over the entire range. There is a middle ground that you can't cross past. And what I mean is, is that yes, you could take a design, put it here and take a second design and put it here and marry them close enough like this design is. By the way, this is a built in design in your machine. I'm going to show you where to find it and how it stitches. Uh, but you can, if you purchase the additional software available from your Husqvarna Viking retailer. There is software that can take a design that is this big and cut it for this hoop. Like it pre-cuts it so you will be stitching half of it and then as you take the hoop off and literally flip it around to do the second half, it knows how to handle it. And that's how the designs that are built into your machine were created originally. So let's take a look at what we're talking about. So first off, the easiest way to find these designs is to go to the Joy OS Advisor, look at the select technique area in the center of the screen and scroll till you find specialty hoop embroidery. In here we have the majestic hoop, textured hoop, endless hoop, uh, and then endless hoop corner designs. Yep, that's all of them. And so let's just touch majestic hoop. Now remember, when you do pick this particular way of going to find the designs, you also get the directions. So a step-by-step -step of how to go about it and some tips along the way. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna minimize that. That does hang out down at the bottom, which is excellent. And then we've got six designs in this machine. So let's just take the one that I have already stitched, touch and hold. It will automatically switch over to the majestic hoop. That is a hoop measured 360 by 350. Oh my goodness. So you can kind of see that there is a middle, that middle ground in the in there. And so with that, you do see that this design is broken up into two pieces. I'm going to slide this out of the way so you can actually see how they are separated. So it's not one big design. All right, so you can go ahead and do that. When you go ahead and touch go, it will guide you of what side it's gonna be stitching on, and then also guide you to, when it gets done stitching that side, when to take the hoop off and rotate it. And the machine is smart enough to know whether you have actually done that or not, because these little brackets here are censored and they can tell if you are on the side you're supposed to be on. So really nice that it takes you step by step. So let me just go ahead. I'm going to just uh, delete this off the screen. I'm going to touch and hold because there's actually two patterns. Did you see that? So a half and a half. So I'm going to touch and hold the trash can. I'll just delete both of them at the same time. So since the hoop is still on my screen, again, having that nice middle area, I want to just show you how if you are going to be, like let's just say, I don't know how big this design is, <clears throat> but let's say I want to go ahead and use this hoop. So I'm going to go ahead, reselect. Oh, you know what? It's not on my list. So let me just show you this real quick. Because this is a hoop that you'll have purchased, and I have already told the machine which three hoops that I do have, the ones that came with the machine, I will need to add this to the list. So let's just make that part of the topic here. And we're going to go up to the settings, and we're going to go into default embroidery settings. And right here where it says my hoops, go to the my the hoop list and I will add the 360 by two, the 360 by 350. I know that number is much bigger than I'm used to saying uh, to the list. And then that will allow me to pick 
that hoop. It will appear at the top. All right, so this would be how I would set it up. So obviously, if I want this design to be, let's do it doubled. So touch and hold, and we can duplicate it. Okay, you can also do that right here in the toolbox. And then let's mirror image it. So left to right, and let's go ahead and move it to this side here. Now, one thing I can do is to make sure it's all the way lined up is to use this and turn it to zero. I touch the numbers, and then I can also make sure that one is also at zero. And then we can also make sure that these are both at the same number left to right. So, or in case I touch it, I can, oh, I bet I can do undo. Let's do that, undo, undo, there we go. And how about a 61? So that means that's at 61 and that's at 61.6. So I'm really, really close. So what it'll do is it will allow me to stitch. Now, if one design is past the gray area, past its point where it can't um, go across that, when you touch go, it'll say, please move the design. The color block has been placed on both sides of the turnable hoop and cannot be embroidered. So again, you'll be guided if you cross over the middle line. So give it a go. You had six great designs. Those would be great on pillows. You could even frame them, try out the designs. Now, if you don't have a majestic hoop, you can go ahead and just pick one of those designs, stitch it, and then re-hoop it. Use the design positioning tool to allow the second design to connect with the first design.